All right, boys, have a seat. Chelsea have just signed their second player, Koulibaly, after Raheem Sterling. As a fan, I'm very excited. Yes, we still need to sign a few more players, but Koulibaly is definitely an upgrade and will take the position of Rudiger as of right now, unless we sign someone else. But the fact is, we have two Titans now in our back line, Thiago Silva and Koulibaly, which again, I'm super ecstatic. Now in this video though, I wanna talk about how Chelsea may line up this upcoming season. Yes, we still may have some other players coming in, but currently with the squad that we have right now, I'm gonna talk about how we're gonna line up this season. For those who don't know who I am, my name is Mike, huge fan of the best club in the world, which happens to be Chelsea. If you agree with me, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below. I greatly appreciate that. Now, like I said, in today's video, we're talking about Koulibaly, who just had his medical and is officially signing with Chelsea, which that makes us our second signing of the season. Both have been massive. Raheem Sterling and Koulibaly are two big name players, which I'm very excited about that we were able to sign both these players. Yes, we still have a long way to go in this transfer window. We probably still need another CB, if not two. And on top of that, probably another attacking player because most likely Zeech is on his way out. Mason Mount, yes, can play on that right wing, but we probably still need someone that's going to be an out-and-out -out right winger. So therefore, like I said, we're probably still out looking for someone and possibly a striker as well, even though I'm really trustworthy and high hopes for Kai Havertz this upcoming season. I think he's going to do phenomenal for Chelsea this year. Being his third season, I think he's finally found his rhythm, his form, along with Thomas Tuchel knowing exactly how to operate with this player. So therefore, I'm looking forward to see how Kai Havertz plays this season. Now, that being said, today's video is two. I want to mention how I think our formation is going to look this upcoming season for Chelsea. Now, as we know, Thomas Tuchel does like to have a back five. Me personally, I think we should probably change it to a back four, maybe a 4-3-3 or four and a four and then I guess a two, uh, four in the diamond for the midfield. But again, today we're going to talk about how we're going to do a back five or having some wing back. So I'm going to slide off to the side. I'm going to go off to this side a little bit so we can actually look at the squad that I have in the place right here. So obviously it's pretty obvious. Mendy will start in between the sticks. I know Keppa is a phenomenal goalkeeper, but Mendy's just so much better. And I'm actually surprised Keppa is even still at Chelsea. I thought for sure he was going to be on his way out of this transfer window. That still could happen yet, but really I'm surprised he's at this club. But that being said, Mendy is starting. Now, starting in our back three then, we're going to have Trevor Chalaba. Yes, I think he's going to be one of our starting players this entire season. Breakout season last year, phenomenal player. I'm really looking to see what he can bring to the club this season. Yes, if we do bring some other players in, he may be a rotational player, but currently he will start for Chelsea, along with Thiago Silva, who, again, is just one in a million type of player, and I'm so happy he's still at Chelsea. Yes, being how old he is, this guy can still play phenomenal, and I'm looking forward to what he can do this season once again. And next to him, Koulibaly, our new signing. This back three, I think, is going to be just phenomenal. I think this is our back three that we're going to have through the entire season until we sign someone else. And even if we don't sign anyone else, this back three is going to be just a gem all season long. Maybe not as well as Don Terry and a few of the other players we had back then, but still, they will get the job done and keep a lot of clean sheets. Now, going to the right wing back. Don't have to say much about here. Reese James will be starting all season long unless he picks up an injury. So hopefully that does not happen. Knock on wood on that one. But he will start each and every game because he's such a dynamic player. Just does so much all over the pitch. I mean, he can defend, obviously, which is a big part of why he's one of the best right wing backs. But also his pace, his crossing, his shooting ability, everything. He can just do well dribbling. He is a great player. And I'm just so happy he's a Chelsea player as well. And then on the left side, complimenting Reese James, and it will be Ben Chilwell. Now this one, I'm looking forward to see how well Ben Chilwell does after the injury coming back. I think he will start right off the bat. I'm not too sure how where he'll be at with the injury and everything coming back from that, but hopefully he's back to where he was prior to that injury because, again, he was a great left wing back, and therefore he's starting that position. Um, if we do bring someone else in, maybe they'll kind of push for that. Maybe Emerson, if he does stick with Chelsea, but right now, Chilwell will start. Now, in the midfield... This is where it might get controversial with some people because I know we're going to do just two in the midfield. 
Kovacic is obviously our starter. He's starting over everyone. He is probably our best midfielder. I know Conte is the best midfielder on his best days, but Kovacic overall is our best midfielder. I don't care what you say. That is just truth. Now, alongside that, though, I think Connor Gallagher is actually going to start next to Kovacic. And hear me out for this why. Because, yes, I know Kovacic and Conte is a great combination. Kovacic, Jorginho is a great combination. Ruben left his cheek. Yes, has a creativity, but again, he won't start. The reason why Conor Gallagher should be starting for Chelsea is because he is like the energizer bunny. He's able just to go all over the pitch, which I think if he's able to do that at Chelsea, he's going to just cause a lot of havoc for other teams, but also he's going to take a lot of pressure off our defense. Also give Kovacic more room and space to do what he wants to do, play a lot more balls. And again, he'll cover that entire gap in the midfield. So therefore, I think Connor Gallagher probably will get the start. If not, I think Conte will be the other player, which is why I have him underneath Connor Gallagher on that one. Now, let's talk about our attacking third. Now, obviously, Raheem Sterling is starting in that left wing. We just signed him, and he's going to be a gem as well in that left wing. I'm really looking forward to how much he can contribute to this team because, as we know, we've struggled with scoring goals, but I think Raheem Sterling will help us in that department and get more goals and obviously create a lot of chances for our other players. Now, on the opposite side, our right wing, currently Mason Mount will be playing that position. Now, I know he's not technically a right winger. I would like to see him more in the midfield. Again, that formation of the 4-4 with a diamond in the midfield. I think Mason Mount would sit perfectly in the top of that diamond, kind of like a 10 roll. But right now, with the current position or the way that Thomas Tuchel plays with a 5 in the back, He's got to play on the right wing. Mason Mount needs to start, and this is probably his best spot to play then, is on that right wing. Very creative, very intelligent player. Doesn't have the exact pace that you want with a right winger, but again, he's able to do everything as well, and he should be on the pitch. And then obviously, up top, we have King Kai Havertz, who I personally, like I've mentioned before, is probably going to be one of our best players this upcoming season. I know there's been a lot of stick with him not scoring a lot of goals, but I think he's finally found his rhythm. He knows exactly what he needs to do. If he gets a lot of game time, a lot of starts, he will find the back net. Again, same thing with him. He can stay healthy because he was doing well last season, then picked up a few injuries, and therefore kind of diminished the rest of his season. But still, I trust in Kai Havertz. I think he can score at least 15 goals in the league this season. Now, again, we may bring still in another striker, which, again, they'll probably compete with each other. But right now, Kai Havertz is the starting number nine for Chelsea. So, that is all I have in the formation. I want to know what you guys think on Chelsea's formation going into this season. If you think Thomas Tuchel is going to go with this or you think he should go with something else, change the formation up. Me personally, I think he should change the formation up to a back four. But again, we know he likes the back five, so we'll see what he does. So that is all I have for you today. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below. I greatly appreciate that. It helps get this video to more fans such as yourself. And again, I just want to know what you guys think, so comment down below. So that is it, and I will see you next time.